Okay, this quick tutorial is going to show you how to use the Google VR Gear VR camera setup. Now, in the intro video, I already imported the package and I imported the Google VR SDK version 1. So, those are right here and, and that's where we're at. If I were to hit play, we got the, uh, the demo scenes and I can go to level 1. And it's going to give me an error that says it hasn't been added to the build settings. Let's switch over to the documentation and we'll just work through the documentation. We already have the uh, 0 0.8 plus. We have Google VR 1. We got Unity 5.42. And so we've imported the asset. We've imported Google VR SDK into the project. Now, this is an important set. Select the main camera and add GVR head script. So you're going to notice that in the prefabs folder, the VR main prefab, that has the main camera on it, and it has the GVR head script. In Google VR version 1, if I look at this and I go into the demo scenes and go into the headset demo and open up the demo scene, if I look at the main camera, it does not have a GVR head. So what happened in GVR version 1 is they made it so that when you run the... Uh, it just adds the GVR head, the, the stereo controller, the GVR auto listener at runtime so that you don't have to add all those scripts. They just get added automatically, uh, basically from the GVR viewer main script. And so when we're switching between Gear VR and Google VR, there's actually a script on GV, there's, there's an option on GVR head that we need to set. So what you need to do after you've imported this asset in your project is you need to add component and say GVR head on your main camera. So you should have GVR viewer main and then as a separate game object you should have your main camera which actually should be a child um, if you're going to move it. Don't follow Google's example here. And then you need to add the GVR head script uh, so that these bools right here can get modified before we go into play mode. All right, so we've added the GVR head script to our camera. We have the GVR viewer main. Now we're ready. We could just select build gear VR or build Google VR and, and, and it works and it builds. Um, so this lets you, this gives you details on how to upgrade from Google, Google cardboard to Google VR. Um, I also have a video tutorial for that, but there's some detailed upgrade instructions if you need to upgrade from Google, from Google cardboard to Google VR. And then there's also some additional steps if you're building for multi-scene setup. And what, what I mean by that is, uh, in my demo is made that way. And I have a main menu that has a VR main and a main camera and a GVR viewer main. There is a demo level 01 with a VR main camera in it as well. And there's a level 02 with another VR main camera in it as well. Now let me stop right here and say it's it's a good idea to consider using additive scenes for your VR setup so that you have a main camera at the build setting zero and then all the levels, all the other scenes get loaded additively so that in the entire project there's only one VR main camera so that you don't have problems like this. Um, now we do have an asset to help with that, it's called Additive Scene Manager. So if, if you're doing additive asynchronous scenes, check that out. Um, but we're going to assume that, that we have one VR camera in every single scene and one GVR viewer remain in every single scene. You got to take two extra steps in this in this case and, and there's a tool here um, to help out. So what's what's going to happen here is there's a prefab it's called VR main. VR main as we already discussed has a main camera which has the VR head that has options that need to get saved. So what's going to happen is if I were to go into my main menu and I were to switch to gear VR and I hit play it's gonna be a full full screen camera and then when I go into level one which is gonna be difficult because I don't have head control but I can rotate like this now I'm having a problem right now it can't load level one because it hasn't been added to the build settings so I'm going to go to the build settings. We need to make sure the main menu it should be at uh, build zero. And then I'm going to have level one and level two added in there. All right, let's hit play again. We get the full screen camera. We can rotate the head like this to look at level one button and click on it. And now level one loads 
and we're back in the cardboard mode. And the reason why is because in this scene, the VR main is still set up to be a Google VR. And so what you need to do here is we're going to go back to the main menu and we're going to select build gear VR that updates both this and this. So this needs to be a prefab, the GVR viewer main. Now, luckily there's a prefab that's included with Google VR at prefabs and it's called GVR viewer main. So I'm just going to simply delete that and add the prefab in uh, because we need that to be a prefab. The same thing needs to be done for, for your other scenes. They all need to have a prefab for both the VR main and the GVR viewer main. So we're going to add that there. And then we're going to go one more time to our level two and make sure we add the GVR viewer main that's a prefab. And I'll show you why that needs to be a prefab right now. We go back to our main menu. We select VR build settings, build gear VR. This and this have both been updated, but the prefab itself hasn't been updated. So we need to select apply that updates the prefab instance. Select VR main and select apply. Now the prefab for those two items, VR main and GVR viewer main, the prefab has been updated so that the prefab is set for gear VR. Now we need to update this prefab in all of the other scenes that we have in our build settings. So use the tool here, update selected prefab in all scenes. So if I select VR main and I say update selected prefab in all scenes, it's going to go through all my other scenes and it's going to update this VR main prefab in those scenes. I need to select the GVR VR main prefab and I need to say update selected prefab in all scenes. Now both the VR main, which has the um, head rotation and the GVR main, which has the VR mode enabled, have both been updated. So all of our scenes are now built for gear VR. If I were to hit play and I rotate my head to the button, and I click on it, it's going to load into level one and level one is going to be built for gear VR. So for platform dependent compilation in unity, check out this link for that. Um, but that doesn't include Google VR and gear VR. So with this asset, we have included platform custom defines for gear VR and Google VR. And so if you look in the documentation, you're going to see that here, here is the property for Google VR and here's the property for gear VR. And when you, whenever you start the scene, you're going to see that log to the console. Google VR mode is enabled. And if I were to switch to gear VR, it's going to say gear VR mode is enabled. There it is. Uh, and that is working. F I decided to just put that into the simple auto walk script. So open up the simple auto walk script and take a look at the, at the top here in the start function for an example of how that's working. You could just say if gear VR and this code will run else if, Google VR, then this code will run. Now I'm using .NET here and this updates dynamically with, with that var. You, you've got to uh, close and reopen it, but uh, you'll see that, that right now I'm building for gear VR. So this line of code is, is active and this one's grayed out. Okay. So I'm going to close .NET and I'm going to say VR build settings, build Google VR. And I'm going to reopen up that uh, script. And now we're going to notice that the gear VR is grayed out and the Google VR is, is active. So not only does this work in runtime so that you can write code that only works for Google VR, we can write code that only works for gear VR, but you also have the ability to, uh, it also works in, in your script editor here. Um, so you can see switch between the two and see which code is grayed out. Okay. I hope this makes your VR project a lot quicker and a lot more easy. Uh, if it does, Give me a good rating on the asset store, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.